Hello and welcome to airgunweb.com, your home for honest, real-world airgun reviews and information where we bring you the facts, not fluff. This episode of Take Aim, I'd like to address a very frequently asked question which is simply, how do I clean the barrel of my Benjamin Marauder? This is actually a pretty simple and straightforward process, so we're going to keep today's Take Aim short and sweet. Before we get started, I want to thank Pyramid Air for sponsoring this series and our channel. You can get the links to the items used on this episode at www.airgunweb.com. Just look for the Take Aim section of the site. So let's get started. There are several challenges to cleaning the barrel on your Benjamin Marauder. Some are obvious, like the very tight breech area, and some are less obvious, like the hidden breech o-ring. The first thing I want to mention is simply this. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you're getting one hole groups at 10 yards, quarter inch groups at 20 yards, and half inch groups at 50 yards, don't touch your gun. Just enjoy shooting it. Cleaning the barrel is not going to improve those results. But if you're having flyers, things just aren't what they used to be in the accuracy department, or it's just never been what you've expected, then a good barrel cleaning may be exactly what the doctor ordered. Here's how you do it. Before we get started, we're going to need a few tools. First, we're going to need whatever tools you need to remove your scope. You're going to need an Allen wrench for the bolt screw, a flathead screwdriver, a cleaning rod with a jag, and you may also want to use a nylon brush. You're going to need a bunch of cleaning patches, and optionally, you can use either MP5 oil or Pelgun oil, and also, you can optionally use some Molly Pace. The first thing we need to do is to remove the scope from the rifle. Use the appropriate tool to accomplish this. For me, it's an Allen wrench that came with my Leaper's mounts. Next, we're going to remove the shroud of the gun. Be careful not to tip out the baffles and always point the muzzle towards the ground. If they do happen to fall out, it's not a big deal. You can reinstall them again. Here's how it works. You're going to simply unscrew this shroud and slide it off the front of the gun. And now we need to remove the cocking bolt. There's a screw right here on the side that's removed with an Allen wrench. Go ahead and remove that and set it aside. Now, there's a screw right here on the top of the receiver. We need to loosen this and that will allow us to remove the bolt. You don't need to take this all the way out. Just loosen it enough so the bolt can come out. Now that we've got the gun all opened up, we can look at our various cleaning options. I'm going to go ahead and start with the least aggressive method. Because of the o-ring and the breech, using anything with a metal brush is really a bad idea. Some folks may not feel comfortable even using a nylon brush, which if you're in this category, then here's what you do. You take your cleaning rod, I use a one-piece dewy rod, and your cleaning patches. I use these pre-cut patches, and you're going to hold them right over the breech and insert the rod through the rear of the gun. Line them up and simply push them through. And you're going to do that as many times as it takes until they come out completely clean. Now, for our next method, if you want to be just a touch more aggressive, what you can do is add just a dab, and I mean the tiniest, teeniest little dab of either MP5 oil or Pelgun oil to your patch before you insert it in the gun. I'm going to use MP5 oil. And I use just a tiny little drop. I'm going to flip the gun upside down so that when I ins insert this, there's very little chance of this oil getting into the mechanics of the gun. That 
that MP5 oil will work on the contaminants in the barrel and loosen it up. Once you've done that a couple times, maybe only two patches like that, then you can go ahead and run your dry patches through the gun until you're pretty confident that it's clean. When they come out dry and clean, you know you're done. Now, if you want to get real aggressive, you can always use a nylon brush. Now, I'm going to mention about the nylon brush again because you don't want to use a metal brush because of this delicate o-ring. It's going to be the same basic process that you were just doing. You're going to use a patch or two with the MP5 oil or the Pelgan oil to help sort of loosen up the debris, chemically loosen up the debris in the barrel. Then you're going to get really rugged with that brush. Go ahead and install my brush here. And I'm going to invert the gun. Just run it in and out of the gun, just like you would a normal rifle. Once you're pretty confident that you've loosened it up as much as you're going to, then you can switch back to the jag. And go ahead and push another either MP5 or Pelgun oil patch through the gun. Now, you've got it loosened up. You've got another MP5 patch through the gun. Now here's the same basic process as you do with the other two. And we're going to keep pushing dry patches until they come out perfectly clean. Now that we've got our patches coming out dry and clean, we can go ahead and reassemble the gun. The first thing we're going to do is reinstall the bolt. If you like, you can add just a touch of molly paste to the bolt to keep it running smoothly. Okay, once that's reinstalled, you can locate the screw hole. and we can reinstall our locking screw. Once that is done, we can go ahead and tighten up the tension screw on the top. You don't need to torque this down. Just want to snug it up, and you can definitely check the bolt. And you can feel when you've got the right amount of retention on that. At this point, you may want to fire a couple rounds down range just to make sure that we've got all the debris cleared out of the barrel. We don't want to be dumping any of that into the baffles and possibly causing other problems. Okay, now we can go ahead and reinstall the shroud. You want to make sure your safety's on here. Anytime you're working around the gun, always make sure your safety's on. Just carefully slip it over the muzzle, line it up with the threads, and screw it on. I like to bring mine snug, and then back it off just a fraction. Okay. This allows the metal shroud to expand and contract a little with the temperature changes, and hopefully not impact the accuracy of the gun. Now that we've got our shroud back on the gun, we can go ahead and reinstall our scope. Take it back out to the range and see how she shoots. Well, this wraps up another episode of Take Aim. I'd like to thank Pyramid Air for letting us do this video and for their continued support of this series and our channel. Please be sure to visit my site, www.airgunweb.com, for a list of all the items we used in this video along with the related links. Until next time, this is Rick Utsler with airgunweb.com. Thanks again for watching.